Welcome back, everybody. Meet a 26-year-old athlete on top of the world, on top of his game, living a life that, well, a lot of men only dream about, a professional athlete. Chase Hilgenbring shocked fans by announcing his retirement from Major League Soccer's New England Revolution, revealing that he will decide instead to pursue the priesthood. A life-changing decision. Chase is with us now. Good morning to you. Guess we'll call you Father. Morning, guys. How you doing? Well, doing well. Guess we'll call you Father Chase in a couple years. I I'm assuming you've been and playing soccer, soccer all your life, right? You and your brother? That's right. Blaze and I have uh, played from a very young age. Um, we've always been interested in sports and, and especially soccer. And, and we've been blessed uh, to both have soccer careers. Um, Blaze and I both played Division One soccer, and, and I was fortunate enough to go on to play professionally. But that's an itinerant lifestyle. You're on the road all the time, aren't you? That's right. It's a, it's a lot of travel. But when you're young and, and you're not married, don't have too many commitments, it's, uh, it's great to be able to travel and see the world. Yeah, but you're good, too. So now you're tossing in this career to start an entirely new one. Chase, how long have you yeah. been thinking about the priesthood? Well, it's, it's taken years. It, it, it does. This isn't an overnight decision. It's something that takes some time, um, a lot of discernment and, and personal prayer. And, uh, you know, God has loved us so much, um, and I've felt that love, and I've felt Him call me to this. And, and I feel blessed that, that He's called me to administer the sacraments uh, to His holy, faithful people. Um, how did you arrive at that decision, Chase? Well, through a lot of uh, discernment, like I said, a lot of personal prayer. I saw, you know, several signs in my life uh, that I was heading this way. And uh, I've been fortunate to have great parents who, who uh, have a deep-rooted faith in the Catholic Church who guided my way. And um, I fortunately made that faith my own and um, was very happy to, uh, to be able to carry on our faith. Wow. Who was more surprised, your mom and dad or your teammates when you told them about this change? I definitely have to say my, my parents were, uh, were more surprised. My teammates, um, you know, a lot of them, we, we shared our faith together, you know, a few times a week. Um, and others, we didn't share our faith at all. But it was interesting to see how hungry um, people are for their, for their faith and to know about God. Because when I told them, um, everyone was interested. There was no negative reaction, and, and everybody wanted to know more about it. Um, you're an impressive young man, Chase. Good luck to you, okay? Was it four, four years for a theology degree, two years of philosophy, but about a half a dozen years of schooling? Is that right, before you get the collar? That's right. It's going to take, a, it's going to take quite a long time, and I, I'd appreciate any prayers that you guys could send my way. Cool. I know all seminarians and priests need it. Yeah, will do. Thank you, Chase. Good luck to you, okay? Well, thank you for yeah, being, yeah, having me on the program yeah. and allowing me to witness. You got it. God bless. Good luck. Well, judging from mm. the fl flood of emails I've just gotten in yeah. here, the women in the newsroom are praying for him to reconsider. Uh, <laughs> one of them is signed Megan <laughs> Kelly. No, we kidding. And they want to know where you're going to wind up, Chase. Which congregation can they find you in? Well, I'm, I'm studying for the diocesan priesthood, so I'll be right around here in Peoria, Illinois. There but, you go. Uh, please don't come looking for me. <laughs> Chase, best of luck to you. <laughs> All right, thank you guys very much.